So the big question is how do we spot the cats that are at high risk of developing cardiac complications? So we have a number of tests available in general practice. We have physical examination, we have radiography, we have plasma biomarkers, and there's also echocardiography. Of these, we can look at physical examination. Can we spot high-risk cats um, just from the type of murmur that they have? Well, we know that cats with loud murmurs are more likely to have heart disease than cats that have very quiet murmurs. Um, and we know that very, very loud murmurs, murmurs that are associated with a precordial thrill, so a grade 5 or grade 6 out of 6, are very likely to be congenital heart disease. But one of the problems with just looking at the murmur characteristics is that some cats may actually lose their heart murmur as the heart disease becomes more severe. So uh, just because a cat doesn't have a heart murmur doesn't mean that they don't have heart disease. So murmurs are sort of unpredictable. You don't know if they're going to indicate bad disease, no disease, and even their absence doesn't mean that the cat is normal. We know that for cats that have developed congestive heart failure, they are less likely to have a heart murmur than asymptomatic cats. So um, maybe over half of cats presenting with congestive heart failure won't even have an audible murmur on auscultation. And for those cats where hypertrophic cardiomyopathy has been diagnosed, um, a murmur doesn't identify the cats at highest risk. In fact, cats with a murmur and HCM may be at lower risk of cardiac death than cats with HCM that have no heart murmur. So that doesn't make it any easier for us. Is there anything else on auscultation we can look at? Um, sometimes it's suggested that having a high heart rate may be an indicator that a cat is at higher risk. Um, there was a study by Clark Atkins a number of years ago that suggested that, but the more, most recent three studies or so have not identified a higher risk with high heart rates. So heart rate doesn't give you much indication either. But cats that have a gallop do seem to be at higher risk. So a gallop is a reliable indicator that a cat has a high risk of congestive failure or thromboembolism. And cats that have an audible arrhythmia are at higher risk. So cats that have an irregular heart rhythm on auscultation should undergo further testing and those cats should certainly undergo an ECG to try to identify the type of arrhythmia responsible. Radiography can be used. Um, that's another way where we can try to identify cats at higher risk of problems. So uh, cats with cardiomegaly on radiographs are more likely to have serious structural heart disease. Many cats with hypertrophic cardiomyopathy will have relatively subtle changes on thoracic radiographs, but once the left atrium becomes enlarged, you're more likely to be able to identify cardiomegaly. Plasma biomarkers are, ex are an exciting new area because increasingly we're recognising that um, cardiac troponins and NT-proBNP may be indicators that a cat has uh, significant cardiac disease. And increasingly, we're starting to find that high levels of either of these plasma biomarkers may indicate cats at higher risk of problems.